Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, my name is Arjun. In the previous tutorial, we learnt about lambda expressions. Lambda expressions are brand new features of Java 8. To support lambda expression, a new language feature called functional interface is also introduced in Java 8. So functional interface is essentially an interface with exactly one abstract method. If you create two, three or more methods or you don't create even a single abstract method then there will be a compile time error in functional interfaces. So to understand uh, what exactly is a functional interface, uh, let's take an example. So I have already created a project called functional interface demo so uh, let's create uh, our, first, our first so let's create our first functional interface interface uh, i'll name it uh, worker interface finish and to tell the compiler that this will be a functional interface we have to use an annotation called at functional interface see the compiler is showing an error that um, it is invalid because there should be at least uh, one abstract method in here so let's declare a method abstract public void do some work Now we will uh, write a class which will implement this functional interface. Let the name of the class be worker interface. So our class worker interface test. Um, suppose this class is uh, having a method so public void let the name of the method be execute and let it take inside the parameter let it take an object of the functional interface that we just declared And inside the body of this class, we will take this object worker interface and call its method do some work. Now, let's create our application class. Application class is essentially a class which has got a main method, and here. Traditionally, what we used to do is uh, we just create an object of this worker interface test is equal to new worker interface test and to call a method of and, and just to call this method execute what we traditionally do was we just invoke the method using the object worker interface test we invoke the method execute and here we need to pass an object of this worker interface type so what we traditionally do is we just create an anonymous inner class new worker interface and here we override the do some work method uh, you can get this by pressing control space so in the do some work we print out something like um, do some work using anonymous 
and when we run this here is the output do some work using anonymous class but here also we can use lambda expression so it will uh, save some typing time as well as uh, since this is not quite readable so it will improve the readability as well so here this time what we will do is instead of using this anonymous inner class uh, we will use a lambda expression here so what we will do is we will again use this object we we'll copy this using this object we are calling the execute method and here as we know that worker interface is a functional interface and it has got only one method so instead of writing the method name we can use a lambda expression where we don't need to specify this method name we don't need to specify this return type or this access specifier so uh, what we can do is we will just write the empty parenthesis and just as in the previous tutorial we will use error operator so just type a hyphen followed by greater than symbol so this is essentially the method name return type and access specifier and after this we will write the method body so the method body will be inside uh, these curly brackets so here we can write the implementation so system.out.println do some work using lambda just save it and just to improve the readability just select the entire file control a and then press control shift f so this will uh, format code so here don't get confused with this essentially what we are doing is instead of writing this at override and the access specifier return type in name of the method since all of these are not required so instead of writing all of these what we are writing is just empty set of parentheses in case we need to uh, pass some arguments in this method we can uh, pass it here and here as well and after this uh, we have just used an empty set of curly brackets and uh, written a code for printing one line so this is how lambda expressions fit together with functional interface and uh, one more point to note here is that in case we create one more method here say abstract public void mm, say one more method the compiler is again throwing an error saying that it is invalid because worker interface is a functional interface so we cannot have more than one abstract methods inside it so as so this it will be helpful for handling errors in the compile time itself because even if by mistake someone uh, tries to add a method add one additional method in a functional interface then the compiler will give the error on the compile time itself so if you have an interface in your application which you want to have only one abstract method then don't forget to declare that interface a functional interface using this annotation functional interfaces are added in java 8 but then there were already some interfaces which were functional in nature means which were having only one method which was abstract uh, say the runnable interface that we usually use in uh, multi-threading is a functional interface because the runnable interface has got only one abstract method so this was all about functional interfaces and lambda expressions in case you have any question or suggestion kindly feel free to write down in the comment box below 
and uh, for more such videos i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel um, thanks for watching